The new Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, was jointly developed by Crossmathe Wegmann and Rheinmetall in Germany to replace an aging German Martyr 1 IFV that is now over 30 years old. Five pre-production vehicles were delivered in 2004. The Puma successfully passed numerous trials and tests. First production Puma IFVs were delivered to the German Army in 2015. Around 350 of these machines will be delivered. Initially it was planned to purchase 405 new IFVs. However later this number was reduced due to limited funding. Currently it is the largest German Army procurement program. It was planned that the Puma will gradually replace the aging Martyr IFV. Currently Puma is one of the most advanced and most protected IFV in the world. However operational use revealed that there are some problems with this armored vehicle. In 2022-2023, during exercises in Germany all 18 Pumas that took part in the exercise broke down on the battlefield and were unable to fulfill their tasks. German military officials immediately announced that there will be no further orders on these armored vehicles. The Puma is one of the most protected IFV currently available. It has a welded armor hull with add-on modular armor. It has an option of three various protection levels to suit operational needs. Weight of the vehicle vary from 29.4 to 43 tons accordingly to a protection level. There are some other IFVs that are even heavier and possibly more protected than the Puma, including a German Lynx KF-41 and Russian Armada Heavy IFV. The base model has a front and flank protection against 30mm rounds, while vehicle has an all-round protection against 14.5mm machine gun fire. The most protected variant can be considered as a heavy IFV. Additional armor modules can be fitted, increasing Puma's weight to 43 tons. Furthermore in this configuration it, it is even heavier than the T-72 main battle tank. It seems that the most protected variant of the Puma withstands 120 and 125 mm projectiles over the front arc vehicle also withstands mine blasts equivalent to 10 kg of TNT. The Puma IFV also features an advanced threat warning system. NDC protection and automatic fire suppression systems are fitted as standard. Vehicle is armed with a remotely operated weapon station. It includes a Mauser 30mm dual-fed cannon. This cannon is used on Austrian Ulan and Spanish Pizarro IFVs. It has an effective range of 3 km. The Puma will be armed with an ATGW launcher, however its type is still unknown. Possibly it will be Spike or one of its variants. Secondary armament consists of a 5.56mm machine gun and a 76mm grenade launcher for a close-range defense. The Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle has a crew of three, while it can accommodate up to eight infantrymen in the rear compartment. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via rear power-operated ramp. Vehicle is fitted with an air conditioning. Vehicle is powered by MTU MT892 K501 turbocharged diesel engine with a V10 configuration. It is developing a whopping 1090 horsepower. Engine of this IFV is more powerful than engines of some of the main battle tanks. For example, the original T72 tank had a 720 horsepower engine, while the current Russian T90A main battle tank is powered by a 1000 horsepower engine. This German IFV is not amphibious due to its weight. 